On second thought, I don't think you can. It doesn't look the 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 it doesn't look like you can. All right, so after a little bit of a hiccup, we got the first red remote, which is actually the run down the gauntlet, which is the one we chose, and we got both silver. So all we got to do is meet you back at. You already basically self sticked at the ceiling, but you know whatever. Hey, the spy who loved himself. Very cool. This is my favorite bonus area, and we also opened a gate to the next world. But that's cool because we can actually go to that world, or we can go to the next world after we beat Mushu Pork. And I'm not sure which one's considered harder. I think this one might be. One's World 4 and one's World 3. So we'll find out. I'll have to, I'll have to decide. But let's go to the spy who loved himself. This is my favorite one. It starts going up this missile silo and you get to this sweet ass like, like penthouse type of thing. Find the briefcases in time. And you get this awesome music. My favorite. The media dimension music with this awesome tuxedo. So let's do it. So all you gotta do- oh, great start, Gex. So you don't got much time, and obviously I'm wasting as much as I possibly can. There's only 35 briefcases, so what you gotta do is just climb up. You just climb up. But the music's so awesome, and, like, this is, like, the best music in, every, in any, like, platforming video game ever. It's so awesome. So where are the briefcases, you may ask? Here they are. Basically, you just keep going up and just make sure you scale the perimeters of each, like, let layer you go up and you'll be fine they're really not that hidden and if you don't get them all at the end you know it because well you're oh shit out of luck camera angle is a fucking of glory here jesus oh son of the fuck dick dick off oh. all right that's okay the music will give us satisfaction let's do it yeah yeah Gex, the fucking TV spy who didn't give a shit. All he wants to do is watch TV and eat take take, take out. That's all he wants to do. I say let him do it, guys. Let him do it. And we're up. And we gotta fight these watch out for these weird fucking shark balloons slash blimps. They don't give you any briefcases, but you get you but they do hurt they can hurt you and kill you. So hopefully this is the last briefcase we need. Yep. One more. And get the gold remote. So this actually this one's kinda strange because this actually is like remis reminiscent of like the actual last level of the game, which is an amazingly epic level that's not required to beat because it's only worth one red remote. But we'll get to that later. So look at this awesome doors opening. I thought this was so cool when I was a kid. It's so epic. Now we're in Res's suite. We're in Res's like sweet house, like his apartment. So we need to find the secret switch, I think. And I forget where it is. I think it's on the couch. I think you can bounce on this couch. Yep. Oh wait, there's briefcases in there? What the frick? So, the gold remote's on the other side. We gotta go through this thing, hit the switch, and... Disco lights, we go. Seizure induced, let's go. But we're in disco suit, and we're cool about it. Let's go for it. I'm invincible. Now the problem is, yeah, when he tries to lick himself up there, the way that it's spinning, he'll fall off. So don't do that. And we got it. Best bonus level, hands down. Alright guys, we're back here. Uh, it turns out that there's only two pathways, and two lead to, one leads to stick the ceiling, one leads to run down the ramp, and the actual other door leads to the gauntlet exclusively, but you can get to every single one from each each area, which is neat. So that's it, I ran down the ramp, I went down the elevator, now I'm going up the ramp, I'm going to skip this guy to humiliate him, and then boom, red remote, easy as that. So I'll get back to you when we get to stick to the ceiling, which we also already saw. Okay guys, back here. Just take a right here. This is the area with the hidden silver remote with the trippy redness. And we are sticking to the ceiling. See what we did there? And of course, this is the wrong direction, but hey, we get this awesome firefly. So why not? It's gonna go the other direction. That's really sweet though, you're really freaking fast. Holy shit. I'm really fast. So instead of going right, let's go left. But hey, why not? I don't mind getting a firefly once in a while. It's kind of useless, but. Can't hit me. Nothing can hurt Firefly or Fire Gex 
man guy. Whoa. God, that camera was flipped. Alright, so to stick to the ceiling. Oh, wait, do I have to go from. Oh, probably not. Welcome to under this old house. I hope not. I'll be kind of in the P mode. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, guys, back on to the top of the Run of the Gauntlet area. Fuck. Dick. I'll just go up the way I did. Ugh. Look at guys, we're just back here from the Run the Gauntlet area, the very top. And this is the stick to the ceiling route, which is kind of dumb. Yeah, it's not dumb, I mean, it's, it's, it's not dumb, it's, 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 it's a little it's hidden, actually. <clears throat> very hidden, actually. But here it is, we stick to the ceiling, and now we gotta just keep running and not get hit by these urchin thingies that look like sea urchins, which I'm very strange. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, I can't really tell. But they look like sea urchins, is what I call them. So there we go, and the door we go, and it loops back to the run the ramp area, which is kind of neat. I almost fell, I would have been kind of pee off, pee and peed off. And just gotta walk this little route. Fuck you, Jack O' Lantern. Fuck you, Jason guy. Go up here and avoid these sea urchins, not too worried about it. Got him. <laughs> Frank and Steinfeld's done. All we got left is a very silly boss, Mushu Pork. Who is like Rez's right hand man or some shit? Alright. Let's go towards him. Um. Of course, this is the last one I have to get to. Holy camera angle, Batman. Mushu Pork, let's do it. On my tongue, darling. Throw the switch. That's the hint. So. He's kind of creepy. He chases you. All you gotta do is shock him. I can't remember where the shock happens, but he chases you, he tries to chase you when you go for the switch. So you just gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta, ouch! Yeah, you gotta watch out for that too. Screw you! After he does that a couple times, start chasing you. Oh wait, maybe you gotta chase him. Yeah, yeah, you have to, you have to get a piss to make you chase him. So you gotta get as close as you can get, and then he'll turn around, and you gotta shock him quick. Oh, I missed. Now he'll hit the switch, because he's a, he's a jerk face. Come on. Yeah, you want to you want him to, you want him to get as close as you can, and then you want to kind of like do a little dragon kick and try to get there quick and shock him. I think no matter what you do, as long as you hit the switch, it shocks him, so. <laughs> Actually, pretty easy. Ouch. Oh, he's going fast. Oh, he's going to run back. He's going to run back. Oh, shit. Yeah, all you got to really do is beat him to it. So he might get me here. Come on, buddy, let's do it. Oh, I'm gonna beat ya! I'm gonna beat ya! Choink! You're fried. Now we got the gates. We got this gate smashed. This is his last hit point. Let's 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 make do of it. Come on! Oh, I hit it again. Come on! And time to run. Oh, I fell in the fucking acid! Son of a bitch! Alright, you won't do that to me again, you, you little... Well, you fucking pork cow. Fry. And so Mushu Pork's definitely a little evil, because he's it's this little laboratory. He's like an evil doctor or something, I'm not sure. So you gotta get close to him, or else he's never gonna... He's never gonna chase you. So you just gotta race back and hit him. As long as you get there before, as long as you hit the switch before he does, he's shocked. So... If you only want him to do it one time, just make sure you're close to him. Oh, wow, he didn't even... He had, he didn't wait for that, did he? Holy shit, he's close. Not gonna make it, buddy. You are dead. Alright, one more hit. No problem. Oh, wow, he barely even did that at a time. Oh, better run, buddy. Better run. And you are shocked. Fry up. Gold remote's mine, and Mushu Pork's dead. Oh yeah! And we got another gate open now. Check that out. So I'm gonna say that maybe red is next. I'll have to see. But, until then, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Gex 64. This is Bloody Mail, in part with...
the Underdog LPs. See y'all later.